How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I have the lights, I have everything set up right now today as you guys saw from the title, maybe the thumbnail if you looked at that first. We're doing a how-to tubeless BMX tire. These videos get tons of views and you guys always wanna know how do you do it. So that being said, I'm gonna take the camera over to Kevin and we're going to teach you, well he mostly, maybe a little bit of well, but anyways, we're gonna be teaching you how to make your bike tubeless, BMX bike preferably. But it works with every bike if you actually think about it. So we're gonna be making your bike tubeless. Originally I was going to, but. Yeah. Yeah. You need to have yours replaced anyways. Yeah. So today we're going to be showing you how to set up a BMX bike tubeless. This is a, this would be kind of considered the ghetto way to do it. I work at a bike shop, Syracuse Bicycle, and I set up normal tubeless setups all day. Uh, I set up tubeless bikes, I popped a lot of tubes, I wanted to try it, I gave it a little trial run. I think I've been riding tubeless like two months now. To set this up, you're going to need your BMX wheel, tire. Uh, not all tires and wheels will work with this, that is one little disclaimer. This tire in particular is a Shadow uh, Strata, Strata V2, and it worked on his uh, back, so it should work on the, uh, worked on his front, as a matter of fact, it should work on the back. You need a 16 inch tube, this is a Bond Trigger tube, and we're going to need some sealant. Uh, do not use slime sealant from Walmart, use actual tubeless sealant, this will work the best. Where can you pick that up? Uh, your local bike shop, you can find them online. Uh, Walmart might have something like that, but if it's not for a tubeless tire, don't use it. Razor blade as well. And some tire levers. One more question, because what tires can you use versus what you can't? Uh, there's really no saying like what exact tire, but it really depends. If you have a tire that is nice, wide open, has a good sturdy bead on it, it's probably going to work. I personally run Odyssey Path tires. Any any well-built tire should seat up. So nothing like Kenda contacts or like you like got, folding tires, nothing like that. Uh, you can get it to work with almost every tire. The this right here, this is a Maxxis Grifter folding tire, good condition. You see, there's one seal in it, but we found that the folding tires leak air a lot quicker. And another disclaimer is you might end up with some sealant leaking out on your sidewall. You're not going to lose much air at all. Okay. <laughs> Why is it blinking? It doesn't like you. I don't know, man. Okay, so we are going to start off with our 16 inch tube. We're gonna put a little bit of air in it, put it on your wheel. Also, another thing, I don't recommend you trying to use a bike pump to do this at all. I would recommend uh, if you have an air compressor, compressor or uh, your local gas station should have a uh, Pop that out of work. So, fill up your tube a little bit there. Pop this tube. We're going to cut it directly down the center and try not to cut all the way through it. You just want to cut this outer layer. Now, it has to be a 16 inch tube without, it can't be like a slime tube. Yeah, definitely don't use a slime. You could, I'm sure you could use like a, like a, tube that's twice as thick, like one of those cool ones, but don't use one that already has sealant in it, because that's just going to make more of a mess than this already does. And if you were to wanting to do this like on your 21 inch bike, or 22, or 37? Uh, <laughs> I I did my, my jumper, which is a 24 inch, and I used a 20 inch tube, so if you think about it like that. 20 inch, 16, 24, try to go like four under, because you want it to have a nice tight fit around the rim. It's a ratio. So now that we've made it all the way around, you take your tube. Now this, this is messy. I'm personally not even trying to stay clean with it, but. So the next step in this little process is you can use water, you can use literally anything. We are going to clean off all this powder. Yeah, well, little towel. I'll grab some, some Windex just to make my life easier. Just gonna... Now, would you have to have a rim strip on still to do this? Yeah. Okay. Just cause it still works the same. Stops your tube from getting a hole in it. So, yes, this, this is a tubeless setup. I'm sure you're going to get some comments. Oh, well, it has a tube in it. Yeah, it does, but... but it's not serving the purpose of a tube. Yeah, and realistically, you can't, you you can set this up fully tubeless if you wanted to use one of the Presta valves and this and that, but 
We set up fat bikes with a setup kind of like this. It's just like a ghetto tubeless pretty much. It works, works the same. So if you are a professional, obviously you would know to have any type of logo line up with your valve stem. So here we have a right hand drive wheel, directional tread. We're gonna see inside of this, make sure a little faded logo is lined up. And now, just like when you're putting a tire on with a tube in it, and you have to watch out for getting yourself a pinch flat, you don't want to puncture this piece of tube, which it can definitely be a challenge with some tires. But this, this one's not gonna be too bad. All right, so we have one side seated. Uh, first time I did this, I took a precautionary step just to avoid making a mess and putting the sealant in it and then having it not work. You can seat this up and try to seal it dry. I don't think that I don't think this tire has many holes or punctures in it, so. Just one. How big is it? Not too bad? About the same size as the other one. Well, we're gonna try to seat this tire up right now without any sealant in it. And if it works, we'll unseat it, put the sealant in, we're good to go. So now your wheels should look something like that. Get the general concept of the, the tube is just there to seal off the rim to prevent any air from coming out. And the tube also gives you a way to put air in your tire. Like I said, we don't recommend using a bike pump to do this. I'm using my compressor. I have about 60 pounds of air in it. And uh, some tires are gonna be much harder to seat than others. I kind of, because you sit like this and Give it a little bit of pressure with the legs. Look around. There we go. Like William said, there is a hole in this tire. Just one. I'll plug that up. Now we're coming out, your tire. Pretty soft, it's got some air in it. That's good. You could probably do this without the sealant, but you want to seal it in. Yeah, you can definitely set up tubeless without the sealant. Um, I set my jumper up tubeless without sealant and it actually, I lost pretty much all the air overnight. Like I could unseat it with my hand. So the sealant guarantees that it's sealed. We're going to unseat this and add the sealant in there and the sealant will take care of this problem right here. Now will we be able to see that? Yes, we will. Yes, <laughs> my favorite part. All right, so we're gonna unseat this tire again real quick and just to be sure that we're not gonna pop the tube, I'm gonna use a tire lever and I'm going to pull this tube out from where I'm gonna put the tire lever just to make sure we don't puncture it. And over. The tire is now unseated. So this is how you can really truly test your yeah, local bike shop is if it's what? the logo is matched up with the valve. Oh yeah, if 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 you have a local bike shop and they're not lining up their logos with every single valve stem in the entire store. They shouldn't even call themselves a bike shop. Now, is there like a reason why they do that? Or is it just like... It's all about the aesthetics. Say the word to yourself, never forget it. Aesthetics. Aesthetics, guys. Aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> to actually set your tire up tubeless, when you're doing a tubeless setup, you are going to seat the tire about three quarters of the way, maybe more, and then you have a spot to pour your sealant in. So we're going to do that. Put this tire on most of the way. Make sure our tube's not gonna fall in there when we're popping her on. So now we have our uh, Bond Trigger tubeless sealant. Uh, this stuff kind of cakes up in the bottom of it, so you gotta shake it real good. Uh, this is two ounces of sealant. I originally used an entire bottle per wheel, so two ounces per wheel. I learned that you don't even need half an ounce of the fluid in it, but. We're gonna use about half the bottle. It's as simple as pouring your sealant between your tire and tube. In my case, I'm a little lucky because this tire is not too hard to seat, but this part can be a challenge because if you turn the wheel the wrong way, you're gonna get sealant all over the place. There we go. Now, as you hear, air coming out of it. Let's turn our sealant down. Get that does its job. 
pretty fair sized hole. We'll give it that. It's a terrible example of a tubeless setup because uh, in the case of a hole that big, I should have patched that. So it's definitely kind of patched up now, but it <coughs> it definitely yeah, needs to be. Unfortunately, oh, that, is, that is a pretty good size hole right there. Oh boy. Now you have a hole inside your tire too, but you cut that. You did that on yes. purpose. So one of the first things I did when I set my bike up tubeless is I actually stabbed my tire with a razor blade right between the uh, little tread seam and needle was a witness to it when my tire was leaking. Spin it, it'll stop leaks. In the case of this, this hole is just a little bit too big for it to seat up and seal it. I don't know why, that's a first. If, if you are set up tubeless and you were to get a hole even bigger than that, it's going to seal it. Um, that's pretty good one though. So we're gonna patch this up. I'm not gonna really uh, show you guys all that. I mean, because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just patch up the little hole in the tire and then we're gonna really pretty much restart that whole entire process again. It's an adventure, especially when you used a used tire that had a big puncture in it. Yeah, and uh... Oops. As you can see, that's, that is not a normal puncture that you'd receive. That's pretty bad gash. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get the tires to bite on, but they usually will if you give a little couple of patience. Okay. And now, like I said, this part might be a little bit messy. Uh, if you're not careful with it, it could be really messy. The sidewalls of your tire are more than likely going to uh, end up a little bit wet. With this particular sealant, uh, it doesn't leak out the white sealant because that's the uh, silicone in it. It just kind of would have a, a clear liquid left on the side of my tires, but it stopped doing that. So there's no way to use jump right into it. You can ride and shred. Yep. Uh, and another thing, I can tell you like this, like anywhere that there was a puncture, such as we had one big hole that tried to stop the party, anywhere that there would have been a small hole the ceiling's gonna get into, yeah, your best bet is to ride it. Uh, to keep it clean and focus on the aesthetics, I recommend a uh, razor blade. We can go ahead and get rid of most of this trim here. I'm gonna make sure that this tire is pumped up nice and hard. There's probably about 50 pounds in here right now. It's pretty solid, but we're gonna top it off and then get rid of the excess tube. I got a lot of comments saying that there, you could not do this with a high PSI. Clearly it works if it's 70 PSI and you could probably go 110 if you were Really park. Yeah, as I uh, mentioned that the other day, I saw some kids who were saying, uh, oh, it's not not meant for this, this and that. No, it's it's not necessarily meant for BMX. Tubeless wasn't designed for that. Tubeless is for mountain bikes <coughs> primarily because with the tubeless setup, you will not get a pinch flat and most punctures are gonna seal themselves. Also, keep in mind for the kids that don't think you can put high pressure behind this, tubeless road bike setups are a thing and they do run 100 pounds plus, so. And you know, there's downhill racing people who have tubeless and that's what they do. And yeah. downhill racing is freaking amazing, insane. <laughs> yeah. Like there's, the, like that's, that's another advantage. Uh, not having a tube in there means you can run incredibly low pressure and that actually gives you a little bit more suspension even. And you don't, you don't have to worry about getting a pinch flat. A fair amount of risk and reward. I like it, I've been riding it for like two months now. Uh, if you guys saw one of Nino's recent videos, I learned that my, my original thought was if you burped one of these tires, it's going to completely unseat and blow apart and sealant's gonna splatter everywhere. But I actually learned that in a lot of cases, if you land sideways, what would have given you a pinch flat might burp your tire in this case, but you're not gonna completely unseat the tire. I burped mine twice and lost 20, 30 pounds of pressure, but they're still good to go. There you go, you and your new tubeless rim. So that is basically how you set your bike up tubeless. If you guys are going to do this, please go post this on Instagram, send us a DM of you guys and your bike that is tubeless because we will, we will love to see it. We want to see new builds that are tubeless. And hey, 10 years ago, people thought plastic pegs were absolutely absurd. People thought four piece bars were absurd. And you guys are probably watching this video thinking tubeless is absurd and it's now great. it's, Possible. Kegs and four piece bars is like the new normal, so. Kegs, four kegs. Four kegs, uh, so this could be the new thing. If, if they set up a, a tubeless setup and they put a picture or anything up, it should be hashtag, hashtag aesthetics. 
Oh, Hashtags my. aesthetics. So <laughs> leave aesthetics. So, can't say that word. <laughs> Let's get so thank you guys for watching. And if you guys watch it to this point, please wow. leave a like. Please subscribe and go follow the boys on Instagram. There's Instagrams will be listed right below this video. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>